regarding debates essentially uh, most of the debates that people are today exposed to is uh, you know on the tv and uh, most of them are pretty much unwatchable uh, you know for various reasons because of the anchor shouting or um, the kind of topics which are chosen for the debates um, how do you bring the actual good tradition of uh, debate back to the mainstream i don't know the mainstream I, I, the mainstream i can't get into the mainstream i can't bring others in uh, they are scared of this because they are unqualified they're very, uh, they got a standard few lines to talk about, which they've learned generally very westernized, leftist. And very scared to bring a person like me because I can speak in their language, in their idiom, give it right back, tell them all kind of things. And they are, they, they are, re they are really threatened by this kind of book. Yeah. So, but we are, going to, we are going to prevail because we have numbers on our side. They, have, they are actually in a corner. They are elitist and very, uh, they have more powerful people in very important positions, but they are not numerically that many. I realize that. You know, I'm going to give a talk and a whole panel discussion in JNU this February 1. And Tata Institute of Social Sciences in, Bank, in Bombay, uh, 28th, I guess, or so of January. So uh, I have been going to their turf. And I find more and more students coming on our side. More, every time I come, they want it more and more. There is a thirst for this. But we just haven't had enough people stand up and supply that, uh, what they're looking for, what our people are looking for. At some point in time, the uprising in the social media will become non-ignorable. And the mainstream media will have to start giving us an equal voice at some point. Definitely, sir. Uh, and lastly, um, uh, I see a lot of Sanskrit phobia. And is there a connection uh, of Sanskrit phobia with Hindu phobia? Yes. What are your thoughts? I wrote a paper on geopolitics and Sanskrit phobia in 2005 at the World Sanskrit Congress in uh, Bangkok. And there was the 10 year, 10 year anniversary of that last year I spoke again. And that was the title of my paper, Geopolitics and Sanskrit Phobia. And I described all of this. The, the relationship between Sanskrit as a civilization and Hinduism is very uh, deep. And often, uh, they are anti-Sanskrit is a kind of a way to be anti-Hindu. It's just another way of being the same thing. Yeah. Individual. Because you may come from poor parents and make it rich. You may come from rich parents and be poor. It doesn't matter. It, it's your personal situation that you count. And then we'll get rid of the caste system if we were to do that. Secondly, uh, the Akhand Bharat, I'm against that Akhand Bharat 